What up everybody, Chris here, and if you've been following my channel or anything like it, you probably already know by now that digital marketing is a great way to make a huge amount of money with very little upfront investment. You don't have to buy a factory, you don't have to pay for someone to prototype your product, you don't have to buy a bunch of inventory, you don't have to buy real estate, etc. There's very little money that you need upfront to be successful in digital marketing. So naturally, there's a lot of people that want to get into digital marketing. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should get into digital marketing and why you shouldn't. Digital marketing is awesome. I absolutely love it, but it's not always sunshine and roses and not everybody succeeds in this. So, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you what the benefits are, what the difficulties are, and what kind of people are likely to succeed and what kind of people are not so likely to succeed. For the sake of comparison, to set sort of a baseline, I'm going to talk about the normal middle class career path. I was raised in a completely middle class upbringing. Everything 100% middle class all the time, that's what I was raised with, so that's always my basis for comparison. The middle class life trajectory is this. You graduate from high school, you go to college, you stay at college for four years or six years or eight years, and maybe your parents pay for part of it, maybe you take loans for part of it, you get some debt, right? That's good debt by the middle class mindset. And then after you graduate from college, you go get a job. You get a respectable middle class job as a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant or a computer programmer or somebody else who sits behind a desk all day. Now I'm gonna illustrate the difference between the normal middle class career path and digital marketing. So you get to admire my amazing drawing skills here. So let's draw a chart here. Where um, this column will be money and this column or the, the Y axis that is will be money and the X axis will be time. Now, if you do the normal middle-class career path, then it kind of looks like this. So you start out in college. So we'll start in, out in college and we'll make the red line uh, where you are in life. So you're, you're starting out at zero. Actually, you're negative, but just, you know, give you the benefit of the doubt, let's say it's zero. So you're spending four, six, eight, whatever years in college making zero. Okay, then once you graduate from college, let's say the economy is good, you get lucky and you get a job right out of college, right? That's not what happened to me. I went to college and couldn't find a job for a full year, but let's say you're lucky and you find a job. Um, then you go up to, let's say, I don't know, you make 40K a year out of college. Maybe make 50, maybe make 80, I don't know. But um, so you go, you make a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of money here and then you work at that job, making the same amount of money for, a year, two years, something like that. And so you go like this, right? You're making the same amount of money for all this time. Then you get a raise. Maybe you did a really good job and you get you get a little raise at work, right? So you now you make this amount of money. Maybe you make $5,000 more. And so you work for that for a few years. And then maybe you get tired of the company you work at and you go get a job offer from some other company and they give you they pay you a little bit more. So your salary goes up again and you work for that company for a few years. And then let's say that you do a really good job there and you get promoted to manager. So then your salary goes up by, you know, a lot. And then you're over here and you're doing that for a few years. And then, so it's, it's these constant incremental jumps. And then eventually, your your, uh, your salary goes like, or your income goes like this, right? You, paint is not cooperating with me here. And then you're at this for the rest of your life. So that's called retirement. Let's go ahead and write some labels in here. Don't get confused. That's retirement, that's college. And then we'll call this the normal job track. Okay, so that's what most people do. At least that's the middle class mindset. That's climbing the corporate ladder. It even looks kind of like a staircase. Now let's do, let's show you what it looks like for digital marketing. Oh, let's make that black again.
Okay, so same as before, this is money, this is time. Okay, now digital marketing starts off the same, right? You start out at zero. You work for a while, you're learning, you're figuring things out, you're trying and you're doing trial and error. Probably everything you do fails at first. You don't have an audience, you don't have a lot of credibility, you don't have a lot of knowledge, so you have to go at zero for a little while. And then you start, then you make your first sale and you go up just a tiny little bit. And then you make more sales and it goes up and then you get better and better and better and everything builds on itself and you go up exponentially like this. So you can see how the how the two tracks differ and, and they are similar in a way actually because you have this period of stagnation so to speak or the period where you're kind of stuck at the bottom at the beginning you have that in both. Now now in the normal job track that's expected like everybody knows that you have to go to college and that when you're in college, you're not going to be making any money, or maybe you're going to be delivering pizzas like I was doing in college, and you make a tiny little bit of money, but mostly you're spending money, you're not really making any money, right? Well, you have to go through the same learning and growth period in digital marketing. Now, the, in digital marketing, probably it's going to be a lot less than four years. So I'm, I'm being uh, pretty conservative and making the line that long, you know, almost the same length as uh, the normal job track which actually I forgot to label this, so I'm gonna do that. Digital marketing track. So you have this difficult period at the beginning and then the growth starts, but the growth is very slow, but the growth speeds up and it grows exponentially rather than these little incremental gains that you get with the normal job track. Now, the real difficult part with digital marketing, and this is why so many people fail, is because they don't accept that they have to go through this period of zero growth, basically. You have to go through a period where you're not making any money. You know, everybody accepts that in the normal job track because everybody knows you have to go to college, but middle-class people do not accept it with the digital marketing track, right? If you, if you try to do this, they will be hounding you like your friends and family will be asking you every other day. So are you making any money yet? Are you making any money yet? And every time you tell them no, they're going to say, oh, well, it doesn't work. It's a scam. It's a pyramid scheme, something like that, right? Because they don't understand that it takes this period of learning. You have to pay your dues just like you have to pay your dues when you go to college. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you're the first to get the new content that I put out. And if you think this video would be helpful to somebody else that you know, then please go ahead and share it as well. But if you can get to the point where you make your very first sale, if you get to this, this point right here where you make your very first sale, that is huge because in marketing, if you can make one sale, if you can sell one thing to one person, then you can sell to basically an infinite number of people. If you can sell one thing, then you're almost there. The reason why digital marketing is exponential, why it grows faster and faster and faster like this, as opposed to the normal job track, which is just incremental, is that when you go to a normal job, you go, you sit in your desk, you do your job, say you make $200 in a day, right? You make your $200, then you go home, you sleep, then you get in your car and you go to work the next morning. And when you go, go to the office, you make another $200 that day. Then you go home, you go to sleep, you go to the office the next day, make another $200. It resets every single day. Everything you do resets. You are starting over. You're starting over from zero. With digital marketing, it's different. With digital marketing, it builds. Every single day you do some work, you are creating an asset. You are, you are working towards creating assets which will continue making you money into the future for an indefinite amount of time. Let's, let's make a, another color. Let's do a green line to signify assets. When you're doing the normal job track, well, you probably build a little bit of assets, right? Like you invest in your house, maybe you buy a house and you start paying down your mortgage and you put a little bit in your 401k plan, et cetera. So 
your assets are going and your assets are just tied to your salary. So you put a little bit of your salary into your assets. So your assets go like this. And you get a little bit of compound interest. So there's a little bit of exponential gains here, right? Well, when you're doing digital marketing, you are working full time towards building assets. Not only are you investing your money, which you will be into, in, into assets, but you are also working full time for your assets. So your assets, when you are doing digital marketing is more like this. And let me label those so we don't forget about it. Assets. And income. So you are working day and night to build assets and there are a lot of different assets that you build in digital marketing. So it could be sales pages, right? So if you sell, or it could be products, right? If you create a product that you sell, the product itself is an asset. Then you build a sales page for that product. The sales page is an asset. Once you start running ads to that sales page for that product, you don't have to touch it anymore. It's just an asset that you set aside and let it bring you income. And then you have the full eight hours in your day left to build another asset. So you build another product and build another sales funnel and, uh, and write some more ads for it. You write some more emails and all of these assets are piling up on top of each other. So your income keeps growing exponentially and exponentially and exponentially. And then as your income grows, you can invest that income into other assets. So the asset growth is a normal is enormous. And of course, while you're, while you're, um, at zero income, you're also at the very beginning, you're at zero income and zero assets. So at first your assets have to build before you start seeing any increase in your income. Content marketing and social media also works exponentially. So YouTube, for example, at the time of recording this video, I have uh, 250 YouTube subscribers and YouTube works exponentially. So I'm, my channel is pretty new. Right. So I only have 250 subscribers. It's a small channel, but it continues growing faster and faster. And the, the bigger it gets, the faster it will grow. So anybody who's successful in YouTube will tell you that it took, it took them a year, it took them two years to gain their first 1000 subscribers. And then it, then it only took them six months to, to get to 10,000. Right. And then maybe it only took three months to get to a hundred thousand because the, Content marketing systems like YouTube, like blogs, like Google works that way, right? Google search engine optimization. If you have a blog, the, the more popular it gets, the more traffic you get so that it grows exponentially. Everything, all of the assets um, in content marketing grow exponentially. So that's another thing that you'll see. It just stays stagnant over time and then it starts to eke up just a little bit and then eventually it, it grows exponentially and explodes upward. The biggest thing that you need to get over if you're going to be successful at digital marketing is you have to, you have to make peace with the fact that you are going to be in this period of not making any money for a little while. You have to be okay with that. And you have to recognize that people around you, including people who care about you, your friends and family who just don't understand what you're doing, they're going to look at you and think you're crazy. They're going to think you're falling for some scam. They're going to think you're stupid. They're going to think you're doing something wrong. You have to be able to put up with that. You have to be able to deal with the uncertainty and the criticism and not stop. You have to keep pushing forward. That's why so many people fail is they just can't deal with that stuff. So why would you want to follow the normal middle class career path? Well, a lot of people think that having a normal job gives them job security. They think that working for a big company and being loyal for many, many years is going to keep them safe. It's going to keep them from losing their jobs. Well, history has shown time and again that that's not true. And in fact, that's probably going to get less true as time goes on. As economic advancement gets faster and faster and the economy is changing every day, what worked yesterday doesn't necessarily 
need work tomorrow and jobs are getting replaced. Jobs are getting replaced by machines. Jobs are getting outsourced. So there really is no job security. One of the closest things there is to security, ironically, is to learn marketing because marketing is always going to be around. Marketing doesn't depend on the current state of the economy. Marketing doesn't depend on what's the current technology. The old technology of yesterday has to be marketed and the new technology of tomorrow also has to be marketed. So if you know marketing, you don't have to even understand the new technology that's coming out. All you have to do is be able to sell it because there's always going to be a market for it. So even if you think of some crazy dystopian future like a Terminator movie where all the jobs are taken over by robots, well well, there's still going to be marketing people that are selling the robots to the companies, right? So the closest thing you can ever get to job security is to learn marketing. That's just one of the many silly things that middle class people believe because that's just what they were taught all their lives. That's what they were raised to believe and they never really bothered to question it. It's one of the things that I had to learn, I had to unlearn rather. You know, there's so many beliefs that are installed into our heads and we just kind of take them as true. Even though we don't really have any reason to believe they're true, we don't have any proof of it. We've just been told it a lot of times so we accept it as truth. Anyway, if you're interested in looking more into the things that the middle class believes that keeps them stuck in mediocrity, then check out the link below. I'll put a link to my free report, The 11 Mistakes Middle Class People Make That Keep Them From Becoming Rich. That is completely free, so check that out now if that's something that interests you. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, digital marketing, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds like something that I could do. That sounds like something that I could be successful at. Then I'll tell you what you can do next. The first thing, of course, is to subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. I'm going to be talking about this a lot. I'm going to be giving you a lot of tips and a lot of up-to-date tips too. So if you follow, you will be on the cutting edge. You will be learning along with me everything that I'm learning because I'm always learning and I want to share with you. So subscribe to the channel for sure. And if you're really serious, I would highly recommend the One Funnel Away Challenge by ClickFunnels. This is the best value in an online marketing course that I have ever seen. It's one month of live training and it's stupid cheap. I don't know if it's going to be available forever. You know, I'm recording this in July of 2019. So if you're watching in July of 2019, then definitely it's available now. I don't know if they're going to continue doing this over and over again. So you definitely want to get in as fast as you can because this is an amazing deal. I'll put the link in the description. So definitely sign up for that while it's still available. Again, this is a live training course, so I don't know how long it's going to be available. Now, if you learned anything from this video, if you had any aha moments, if there's something that you found helpful or there's something that you want more clarification about, go, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I always love to hear from you guys. And in this video, I'm talking about digital marketing as a broad category. Digital marketing is not a specific skill. There are a lot of specific skills that fall under the umbrella of digital marketing and you just don't have enough time in your life to learn all of them. So you kind of have to pick and choose which ones you want to learn. So if you want more information about this, I recommend you check out this video all about five high income skills all within the field of digital marketing that you can teach yourself in just two weeks. So go ahead and check out that video. Figure out what skill fits you the best.